You'd think the loudest animal would be an elephant, a lion, maybe a whale. But the truth? It's smaller than your thumbnail. This tiny insect can produce a sound as loud as a rock concert, all while hiding underwater. Its scream reaches 99 decibels. And it's not even shouting. It's singing for love. When we think of the loudest creatures on Earth, we picture giants, roaring lions, trumpeting elephants, whales echoing through the oceans. But nature loves surprises. There's an insect, no bigger than a grain of rice, that can outshout them all. Its voice is so powerful, scientists once thought their equipment was broken. It doesn't roar. It doesn't growl. It sings. And it sings not to scare, but to attract. What makes this tiny creature so loud? And why does it risk everything just to be heard? In the still waters of ponds and slow-moving rivers lives a creature almost no one notices. It's called Micronectus goltzi, also known as the Lesser Water Boatman. You'd never think twice if you saw one. It's only two millimeters long, smaller than the date on a coin. It hides under leaves, swims near the mud, and moves through the water with delicate strokes. But despite its tiny size, this insect holds a world record. When it sings, the sound reaches 99.2 decibels. That's louder than a motorcycle engine, louder than city traffic, and nearly as loud as a jackhammer, all coming from something you could crush with your little finger. But this raises a strange question. How does something so small make a sound so big? The secret is stranger than you might expect. This tiny insect doesn't have vocal cords. It doesn't use its mouth. Instead, it sings with its body. Micronectus scolzi creates sound by rubbing its penis against its belly, a process called stridulation. It's not for defense. It's not aggression. It's a love song. The rubbing motion sends vibrations through the water. And somehow, those vibrations get amplified, bouncing off the water's surface and echoing through the air. That's how it reaches almost 100 decibels. Imagine a human whispering and being heard three blocks away. That's how powerful this bug's voice is. But why would evolution give a creature so small, such a dangerous kind of volume? The answer is simple and heartbreaking. He's singing to find love. The louder the song, the more likely a female will hear it. In the underwater world, finding a mate isn't easy. So the males sing with everything they have, even if it means giving away their location. It's not a roar of pride. It's a cry for connection. Each chirp is a risk and a hope. Scientists believe females are drawn to louder calls. That volume becomes a sign of strength a promise of good genes. So the males compete with their voices, even if it puts them in danger. But here's the danger. If the females can hear it, predators can too. So why risk everything for a song? In nature, every sound is a signal. And every signal has a price. For Micronectus goltzi, that price is survival. The louder he sings, the more likely a frog, fish, or bird will hear him. To predators, it's not music, it's a dinner bell. But the boatman keeps singing, night after night, call after call. Because silence means loneliness. And a silent male leaves no offspring. This fragile creature faces the ultimate gamble. Sing too quietly and never be found. Sing too loudly and never live to see morning. And yet nature hasn't silenced him. His song continues soft, rapid, desperate. So why does evolution keep this risky voice alive? It turns out, size isn't a weakness here. It's the reason this miracle is possible. Micronecta's small body helps channel sound in a unique way. The water around it acts like a natural amplifier. Tiny air bubbles near its body trap and bounce the vibrations, boosting the sound outward like a speaker. And because it sings underwater, the sound doesn't lose energy the way it does in air. Instead, it travels faster and farther, reaching places no other bug's call can reach. It's not brute force. It's brilliant physics. A tiny body, a soft rub, 
and suddenly, a roar underwater. This insect doesn't scream to be feared. It sings to be loved. And its song, loud and fragile, is proof that even the smallest among us can leave a lasting echo. But maybe the real question is this. What else is nature doing right under our noses that we're too loud to hear? In a world filled with roaring engines and noisy cities, it's easy to forget the quiet miracles. Micronectosculti is just one example, a creature we'd never notice, making a sound we'll never forget. It doesn't shout for power. It sings for survival, for love. And somehow, that tiny song has become one of the loudest voices in nature. Maybe we don't need to be big to be heard. We just need to speak with purpose. So, what other wonders are we missing just because we're not listening? If this amazed you, imagine what else is out there. Like, comment, and subscribe, and don't miss our next wild discovery.